Bourgeois Rainham High School as the BR Trojans girls basketball team gets set to take on the Brockton Boxes in a crosstown matchup that typically is known for during the football season, but also we look forward to the hard court matchup as well. John Luck with Skip Crossman and Skip. This is a matchup that actually took place a couple weeks ago between these two teams, a game that Brockton got the better of BR. Yeah, Brockton's a very, good, very great, good program year in and year out. They come back with players. They have a good feeder system in their middle schools, and they provided a lot of players that have come right up through the ranks, played some AAU basketball, and now have started for the uh, Lady Boxers. So getting set to get things underway here. We have number 14, Brianna Santos, getting ready to jump off against Danielle Wabreck, and this one is underway here at the region on a Friday night. Okay, the starting lineups in just a moment as we are just underway here in the first quarter. That's Jelanda Jackson with the runner, no good. Rebound by Kaylee Madalonis. Nice bounce pass over to Nina Morrison, misses that one out the front rim, tipped around and pulled down eventually by the Brockton Boxers. Number 23, Jelani Jackson. And Jelani Jackson and number 22, uh, Alexandra Gennaro. See the ball handlers for the Lady Boxers. That one swiped away by Wabrek as BR takes over on offense. Nice play. They kind of evenly match in terms of height. Dangerous cross-court pass there to number 15, Ashley Rose. Rose ties up an under move for two. Scores the first basket of the game, Ashley Rose. PR coming off of a win against Silver Lake in their last game as that runner off the glass doesn't go for number 14, Santos. Ashley Rose with the rebound. Long two will fall for Matalonis. And just like that, BR jumps out to an early 4-0 lead with just about a minute 15 gone. The yeah, Trojans are pulling a full court press. They're putting some pressure on the boxes. There's a jump ball. And Trojans have a little, bit of, a little bit of a height advantage over the guards, the ball handlers, so let's see if they trap and see if they can uh, <clears throat> force a few turnovers in the early going. Barkin thought there was a timeout, however. Referee Dan Grant is so we get set to continue on here with 640 left to go in the first quarter. Inbounds by the Trojans. Oh, nice move. Whoa. Number 14, Nina Morrison with the bucket. Full court defense played by BR here. And when you have the height advantage like the Trojans have, especially with this lineup, that's Certainly a good way to play your defense. As that one falls, first basket of the night for the Brockton Boxers. 6-2, approaching the six minute mark left to go. Three pointer on the way, that one's gonna fall for Rose. Five points early on for Ashley Rose. And another tangle up and BR playing very aggressive defense. That's that trap, that's what's gonna force, gonna force some turnovers. for the Lady Boxes, I believe, with the first foul. That one's going to be good for number 11, Matalonis, and it's been lights out for the BR offense as they jump out to an early 12-2 lead just over two minutes in. That was a three by Matalonis. That's the time I was taken by April Dingwell. So, so three scores for the Trojans and two of them, uh, Rose and Madalonis with the early three pointers. Right, Ashley Rose has really come on as a big scoring threat here, averaging about six points a game. The big thing is she, she, she controls the boards for the, for the Trojans and it's, that's a good sign. They can get some rebounds and get some second chance baskets. <laughs> Trojans three and two over the last five games. Well, Brockton is two and zero oh over the last couple games, dating back to the last time these two met on January third. Yeah. 
Alex Giannaros inbounds that one. Turnover for the boxers. That pressure worked. The pass across court hit the back at the end line. So Malonis inbounds it over to Kelly Page. And the paint has that one stripped away by Brianna Santos. Jelani Jackson with the ball. I was going to go on Ashley Rose. Each team with one foul. Lopes with her first bucket for the Lady Boxers. I'm sorry, Kayla J Robinson. I'm sorry, Walbrook's not making it easy for the inbounds pass. No, and she has the height advantage easily over a couple of these players here, so obviously you're going to have her over the inbounder. Top of the key to Jackson. Betty Boxes control that rebound. Three points good for Giannaros. This one's starting to get back to a 12-8 lead now for the BR Trojans. They had a 12-2 lead just about a minute and a half ago. Kelly Page called for her first foul. A 6-0 run over the past minute and a half. Nice steal. This is quickly going the other way. Uh, 23, uh, Jelani Jackson's call for the her foul. Her first, team second. At the very least there, you're trying to beat that fast break opportunity for the BR Trojans, and now you have a chance to get back into your zone defense 2-3. So uh, for the boxers, uh, Brianna Santos with her second five. Nice block. Daniel Walbrook with a nice rebound, re nice deflection there. Walbrook a little hesitant there. Should have shut up with that for that shot. And this is how Brockton's been getting back into this game here. The second chance opportunity, the battle of the boards. Fighting for those rebounds and trying to punch it back out to allow that offense to reset. And Nina Morrison for the Trojans call for her first. Team, teams are even with fouls, three apiece. Persistence there on the Lady uh, Boxers. As two falls for Robinson, that was at least three or four rebounds on that scoring opportunity for the Brockton Boxers. And now you're looking at an 8-0 run by Brockton. Boxers are doing it right. They're boxing out.
12-12, so we're all tied up. You have to wonder at some point if Cheryl Seavey's going to have to consider calling a timeout here, get ready to round the troops back up. So in just under three minutes, the Brockton box is going to uh, a 7-0 seven, uh, seven run. Nice steal. Might have gone away with an extra step or two, Maybe. according to our official in the booth here. Oh, a nice flat shot, but it went in for Walbrook. That's what Warbeck has to do, get in the paint, use her height to her advantage. Those mid-range jumpers will come very easy, especially for a tall player. Two falls for Santos. Gets rocked in the two-point lead, 16-14, 1.43 left to go in this first quarter. Nice, nice. Persistence there by Ashley Rose. Comes back the other way for the Trojans. Nice rebound. Ashley Rose again. Right now, if you're Brockton, this is the game plan. Let BR just take all the threes they want. And we'll get to that reason in just a little bit at the next whistle. Ashley Morrison on the run scores easily. I'm sorry, Nina, Nina Morrison on the run there. Trojans with a two-point two advantage, 18-16. Getting back to that three-point game plan, if you're Brockton trying to force BR to take as many threes as it can. BR has taken just over 200 three-point attempts this year and have made about 53 or so. So if I'm Brockton, you can take all the threes you want. More likely than not, they're gonna they're not going to fall. So if you're BR, try and establish an interior game. Try and get in the paint. Yeah, 25% uh, rate of... Completing threes is not a not the way to go. Misses on the freebie there. Oh, Ashley Rose. <coughs> Unofficially, I have her for nine points in the first half. Sounds right to me, and it gives the Trojans a two-point lead with under 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Oh, Jelani Jackson. Gennaro's call for the foul. the travel call. Brockton has six seconds left. Let's try and get something done here. Last second three on the way. That one is good. Elizabeth Williams just checked into the game and number three hits the three to end this first quarter to give the Brockton boxers the early three-point advantage. And first quarter that saw Brockton down by 10, about two or three minutes in, all of a sudden they came back and they had a three-point lead. Really shows you that April Dingwell really has his team coached up in the right way. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not going to wilt in, uh, when, be, when they get behind in the score. You saw them come back there, pushing the ball up, giving the Trojans a little dose of their own medicine by you know, trapping the ball, forcing some turnovers in, Tro in the Trojans' offensive end. Meanwhile, on the other side for the BR Trojans, nine points early on for Ashley Rose. 
really was on fire in the early part of that first quarter. Once again, the Brock and Boxers six and three overall, two and zero oh in the Big Three Conference. Meanwhile, BR five and seven overall, two and zero oh in OCL play, and the Lady Trojans playing back-to-back -back titles a couple of years ago, 2014 and 2015 OCL champions, looking to have the same fate here in 2016-17. New face from the, uh, for the Trojans, uh, number three is Brooks Reagan. She's in the court. Jackson kicks it back out. Nice rebound. The defense by Wabrak coming on that one-on-one -on -one play, coming off the extra person advantage. And nice Robinson effort. steps just out of bounds by about a hair or two. Yeah, not nice effort on her to turn the ball over, but just had to step on the sideline there. Trojans have the starting four. Rose Morrison, Mel Meltunis, Walbrecht, and Brooke Reagan is the looks like the point guard. effort by Alicia Fernandez. She tips that out of the bounce to Trojans, will inbounds. Reagan back to Maltunis. Maltunis. There are a couple opportunities there that he probably could have taken a shot. But at this stage in the game, down by three, not a bad idea to take that extra pass, try and get something to go. However, it does turn into a two-pointer. Alexandra Gennaros is not missing tonight. She's taking some uh, reasonable shots, not to, within 10 feet of the basket. She's been, she's been money. is in the, in the game for the Trojans. Altoon is called for the foul. Teams are knotted up at five fouls each. Nice rejection by Welbrecht there. No backcourt as that ball was tipped away by Brockton. Three pointer doesn't fall for Reagan. However, BR ends up with a rebound. Nice effort by Ashley Rose to keep that ball alive. Reagan for three. That one back rims out, pulled down by Robinson. Looking for the foul, but nothing going there. And Brockton continues right. trying to pile up. Nice, these effort, nice effort by Maltunis there. Trojans, Trojans alertly call a timeout when their Meltunis is on the floor there. Jump ball right now would have gone to Brockton. So good call there by Coach CB with 5.32 left to go. It's a five-point lead. BR on top, 25 to 20. So just about two and a half minutes into the period, and Trojans have been held scoreless, but the Lady Boxes have only put up two more points. 
Still a five point advantage, 20, 20, 25, 25, 20 with the Lady Boxes in the lead. It's, it's that two, three defensive zone for Brockton that's really gotten the job done. That's taking Wybrack out of the game. Ashley Rose hasn't been able to score as well as she did in that first quarter. Really trying to throw some different looks, some two-on-one opportunities defensively for the Brockton Boxers. Really takes away a few of these scoring opportunities, and like I said, it forces you to take the take the long-range shot, take the three-pointer, and that more low-percentage shot. The Trojans are going to just try to work the ball in. That three-pointer is just ongoing, especially for the girls on the floor right now. So go back to the you know you know get some rebounds and get some full uh, full court pressure here. Get back to the game they started with. Madalonis, dicey pass over to Reagan on the far side. Nice little. Brockton pushing the ball back up, and Robinson shot back rims in. Kayla Robinson, seven points. And that's the advantage for the Lady Box is 27-20. We are starting to pick the pace up a little bit here over the last... 30 seconds or so. Reagan to Matt alone as she's going to drive back to Reagan. Just not dropping. Nice oh. rebound and nice two there by Kylie Piche. Her Eight. first points of the game. Cuts the lead to five. Re Reagan with the rebound. Trojans on the march. Madalonis into Morrison, back to Madalonis. Got some hand slapping there, but no foul. Gennaros brings it up for the Lady Boxers. A lot of this starts off with a transition for the BR Trojans, especially coming off a rebound. When they get the rebound defensively, going back up the court, they just need to pick the pace up a little bit more. Because if you just lackadaisically bring the ball up to half court or slow the pace down a little bit, this gives Brockton a chance to get back into your 2-3 zone and face the same fate that you've had over the past five or six minutes here. Walbrick's out of the game. Kelly Page comes in along with Michaela Seavey for the Lady Trojans. Madalonis lets it fly off the mark. Santos out in the wing to Morrison. I'm sorry, to uh, Robinson. Looks like moving screen called on Jade Wint, number 35. And Santos will check back into the game for win. Page brings it up. She's guided by Jackson. Balls are coming fast and fierce now. The Trojans, uh, Trojans will be in the bonus here. But Rest of the period. With 325 left to go, that's very big, especially only down by five. First shot by Kelly Page is good. Cuts the deficit to four. Nothing but net. Kelly Page with two free throws. Cuts the lead to three, 27-24. Nice, nice rebound. Kylie Piche with the ball. Gennaros deflects the ball out. Trojans will inbound right in front of the Brockton bench. Unusually high bounce hits the it's the 32nd clock. Boxes will inbounds. J 
Jackson with the ball. Pass to Gennaros. Back out to Fernandez. And back to Fernandez now. She lets it fly a little short. Kelly Page with the rebound. She's going to be fouled. Can't call for the double dribble. Looks like looked like Gennaris was all over. So Gennaris, the Trojans will inbound under their... I'm sorry, the box is inbound here. Fernandez with the bucket. Two thirty to go. It's a five point advantage for Lady Box is twenty nine twenty four. Santos's third foul. That's a little predicament that Dingwell will have to respond to now, having one of her status in foul trouble with 2.23 two, two to go in the first half. When you have eight first half fouls, you're obviously going to run into an issue like that. And in high school, typically the benches aren't as deep as what you'd see in maybe a college basketball team or another type of team or anything like that. So really, in high school, you play about six or seven deep as far as your typical offense goes. Kelly Page, four for four from the free throw line. Cuts it down to a three-point deficit, 29-26. Little laps on the Trojans there. Tro Trojan defense letting Gennaris go right to the basket. Luckily, she missed. Ooh. Kelly Page kicking up a notch on transition, which is the point I was bringing up early on, and what does that do? That gets you to the line against the team that's in foul trouble right now. That's the ninth foul. You're one foul away from a double bonus with just over two minutes left to go. Puts Jelani Jackson in the, uh, she has two fouls, so but Lady, Lady Boxes might be in foul trouble before too long. <coughs> Kelly Page, another free throw. Kelly Page, six for six from the free throw line, 29-28, a one-point advantage. Push off called on Fernandez. Just her first foul with 154 left in this first half. A one-point Brockton advantage, 29-28. That's not bad. She played the whole first half and just gets her first foul right now. But every foul is going to put the Trojans at the Lady Trojans at the line. See if Michaela Seavey can cash in here. Nothing but net, it's a tie score, 29-29. Kayla Seavey is two for two. Trojans up 30-29 with 150 to go. Jackson gives Lady Boxes an advantage, 31-30. Ashley Rose, enormous on the boards. Just can't, Trojans can't put it in. Boucher gonna be called for the foul. Two on one opportunity, had no choice but to force the foul. And make Fernandez earn the two points. And Tro Lisa Fernandez misses the first. Trojan's only down by one. At one point in this second quarter, VR was actually down by five. So a good comeback here in the second quarter. 
Both shots are off the mark. Trojans have a chance to take the take the lead here with a 109 to go. Nice defense by Jelena Jackson. Tips the ball free. Pile up under the basket. It's a jump ball. Trojans have the advantage here. They'll inbounds. Two for one opportunity for BR. 35 seconds left to go. That one to knock down. Page right on the baseline. Bounce pass over to Morrison. And taken away by Brockton. Two falls for Robinson, and she's had a good first half. Nine points. Hard foul. It's going to send Page back to the free throw line. Going to have Fernandez picking up her second foul. Or is it Scoreboard, don't lie. It looks like one. That's giving it to Robinson. <laughs> Kelly Page just can't say enough. She's seven for seven from the line. This could be important in the second half, especially if Brockton needs to force a foul to try and get possession back. I just wouldn't foul. I just wouldn't foul Kelly Page. Right. 33-32, a one-point advantage for the Lady Boxers. Oh, nice interception. Oh. A <laughs> little too hard with the shot. Kylie Pichet's shot's off the mark, so the halftime will end with the Lady Boxers on top, 33-32. Some good back-and-forth action between BR and Brockton, and we have another 16 minutes left to play, and we'll have that for you right after this. Superheroes? Just four brothers who hate bullies and love this city. you try to break your will but however loud the loudness gets however many cheese puffs may fly you're the driver the one in control stand firm just wait and move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive never give up till they buckle up some interesting halftime stats. The uh, Lady Trojans are shooting 10 for 34 from the field goal uh, and 29%. Lady Box is a 15 for 32 at a 46% clip. Leading scorers for Bridgewater Rain, I'm Ashley Rose with nine, and Kelly Page with eight. On the flip side, Jelani Jackson with nine, and Alexander Gennaros with eight. Key stat here is the rebounds. Bridgewater Rain has 26 rebounds, 10 offensive rebounds. They keep that's keeping them in the game. Let's not forget a lot of those rebounds came on two or three possessions for the BR Trojans, where they got about four or five rebounds at a time. Well, it, you know, they, they got 10 offensive ones, so you know, so that's that's where it's helping. Brockton's only got four offensive rebounds, so they're not, they've been pretty weak on the glass. Kelly Page over to Ashley Rose. Rose tries to force her way in the paint. That one gets stripped away. Turnover to the boxers. Nice interception by Kelly Page and that a long, long field goal type pass by uh, Alexander Gennaros. Kind of telegraphed that pass back puts the Ashley Rose and the Lady Boxers intercept. Gennaros with the shot. Not being covered on that play. You can't give her that. 
Two points to start the second half. Barbara gets called for the travel, even though it looked like she almost got dragged a little bit. There she, she, if that happened out in the street, there'd be an assault and battery charge. <laughs> it's got away. Brockton Box has got away with one there. Gennaro is trying to bring the ball in. Kicks it back to Gen jo Johnson. Rims out. Ah, uh, finally. Trojans get the benefit of a call here on the, on the rebound action. 33, and Lisa Fernandez with her third foul. This has been a true back and forth game. This game started out with a 12-2 lead for the BR Trojans. Then Brockton stormed the way back up to a five point lead in the second quarter. Right now they have a three point lead, 619 left to go in the third quarter. Jackson brings the ball up. No pressure, top of the key, kicks it back to Gennaro's. Goes inside to Fernandez. The ball's off the mark, but Gennaro's comes away with the rebound. Long range jumper. Gennaro, she's got five points to start off the second half and gives the boxers a 38-32 lead. A little too hard off the glass for Ashley Rose. It kicks away. Box is coming away with the rebound. Wabrek with the rebound. Outlet pass from Page to Rose. Oh, can't get the roll. Wabrek with the rebound, uh, with the reflection, deflection, sorry. <laughs> Page, ah, uh, finally. Basket, basket's good, luckily. <laughs> so Daniel Walbrecht gonna be called for a foul. Her first, team first, that's good. She's been out the played most of the first half and comes away with one, re one foul in the second half. Fernandez kicks it back to Gennaro's top of the key. Kicks it back out to Johnson. Jackson, I'm sorry. Five on the shot clock for the boxers. Jackson throws that one off of the backboard and she'll find her way to the line. Yeah, Nina Morrison got a little bit too close. She's gonna pick up, I believe that's her second foul. Jackson makes it a two possession game, four point game, 39-35. Just under five minutes remaining in the third quarter. That one is taken away by Gennaros. One on one, nice spin move. That one a little too strong. Put back is good, however, by Robinson. And so CV's gonna call a timeout here to collect some thoughts here. Down 41-35. I believe that's an 8-3 run by the boxers to start things off in this third quarter. Yes, it is. 8-3 eight, eight, run. You know, ironically, the boxers picked up their first free throw in the second half. They were 0 for 3 in the first half and 1 for 2 in the second half. So they've picked up their first point from the three throw line. On the, on the flip side, Bridgewater Raynham has helped their own cause with shooting 10 for 10 from the three throw line. Courtesy of uh, Kelly Page and Michaela Seavey. JV squads played before this game, and BR got 
the win 47 to 36. Looks like both these two both of these teams are gonna blow past that point hole by a lot. Yeah, we, we had a first half score, we had a 33-32 score. Bodes well. Page into the corner to Ashley Rose. A little strong re rims out. Santos with the rebound, gives it up to Jackson. Jackson guarded by Page. Ashley Rose with the rebound. Page in the corner. I'm sorry, Page gets the ball from Matt Matalunas. Back to Matalunas. Back to Page. Little strong, gonna be the putback. Oh, can't go over the rim. Jump ball called. Nice effort there by Daniel Walbrick and 35 Jade Went. Jade Went for the uh, Lady Boxers. It'll be a boxer ball on the possession arrow. You don't want to say at this point in the third quarter, 3:45 left to go, that BR is playing with fire right now. But you get a couple of threes put together here, you're looking at a very big difference to start things off in the fourth quarter. Nice bucket there by Brianna Santos. 43-35, an eight-point lead for the Lady Boxers. Matt Lunas over to Rose. Looks like Santos is going to be called for the foul, her second. Looks like that could have gone either way. Both players just kind of got their arms tangled up there, but... At that point, that was. I'm sorry, that's your fourth foul. That's Santos's fourth foul. That's a little bit different. I read that differently. Santos is on the bench now for the Lady Boxers. Confusion by the refs on who tipped the ball out. Looks like the Trojans tipped it out. It'll be a Lady Boxers inbounds. Over in front of the BR stands. Back to Jackson. She brings it up. Kelly Page is going to give her a little bit of defensive pressure. A little bit too much of defensive pressure. She got, got called for the push. Foul number three for Wynn. Ashley Rose to inbounds for the Lady Trojans. Back to Pichy, back into Morrison. Walbrick and Gennaro's fight for the ball. Trojans will get the advantage here on the possession arrow. Carly Pichy will inbounds. Very aggressive defense by Brockton over the last two quarters. But Morrison and Nina Morrison and uh, Daniel Warburg just can't get the ball to drop. It's all around the rim. <coughs> Gennaro's went down hard on that layup attempt. 12-3 Brockton in this third quarter equals out to a 43-35 lead for the team from the City of Champions. Went with the inbounds pass, kicks it out to Went a little hard off the glass, rebound by Morrison. Over to Pichet to bring the ball up. Pichet kind of misread that move by Ashley Rose and turned it over. Looks like Wabrek and Piche checking out. 
And CV and Mal Lunas checking back in. On the flip side there, Nina, Mar uh, Nina Morris has picked up her third foul. For the Lady Trojans. Jackson kicks it back. Off the mark. Natalunas comes away with the ball. Over the side to Page, down low to Ashley Rose. She's going to. Give Ashley Rose a lot of credit. She's not giving up, putting up forth all the effort she can just to get that ball in. Jade Wynn picks up her fourth foul, so she'll go to the bench. Two lady boxes with four fouls apiece. Page kicks it into Reagan. Back to Madalonis. Over to Page. Nice effort by Michaela Seavey. Come away with that rebound. Page gives it up to Madalunas, top of the key, over to Page on the wing. Cross court to Ashley Rose. Oh, nice attempt to save the ball by Kelly Page. Turns it over, though. Brockton boxes pick it up. Jackson with the ball, top of the key, guided by Page. Pushed off, they didn't get called for anything. Just push the defender, push the defender away. Did it twice. Janulis kicks it into Fernandez. Back out to Jackson. Kelly Page going to pick up a foul here. I think that's her third. Yes, it is. So two lady Trojans, Morrison and Page with three fouls apiece. Fox is going a little deeper into their bench. Joslima Montron checking in the game. She hasn't seen any time yet. Janaris with the ball. Got it by Madalunas, tipped away. Ashley Rose with the ball. Gives it over to Madalunas. Page. Cross court pass. Ooh, those three pointers just aren't falling for the Trojans. And again, that just goes back to what we were saying earlier. If you're Brockton right now, if you're, I'm thinking, you know what, BR, take all the threes you want. A couple of them might go down, but more often than not, they're not going to hit. Now you're down eight points with 27 seconds to go in the third period. But on the flip side, now you're looking at Brockton. They have a couple of players with four fouls, so now you can play a little bit more aggressively if you are. Bridgewater Rainham. If you're Brockton right now, if you have another foul or two, you could easily be going deeper and deeper into your bench. Kayla Robinson picks up her. It's only her second foul. With 27 seconds to go in the third period, Lady Boxers have five. Pichet will bring it up for the Trojans. Over to Page. Loses the handle. A lot of bumping going on down on the sides there. Paige doesn't fall, just doesn't fall down on her own. <coughs> Jackson with the ball, top of the key, guarded by Paige, kicks it over to back out to Robinson, over in the key to Jackson. Nice move by number three, Elizabeth Williams. She's come in twice in the game towards the end of the first half and now the th end of the third period. And both times she's got the ball, she's scored. Because the Brock Lady Box is a 10-point lead, 45-35. And that was a difficult third quarter for the BR Trojans. Three third quarter points. Absolutely, that's not good. You're right. The only points in that third, third quarter at all was the three-pointer by Page early on in the first three minutes. And like we said, they, that VR does have the foul advantage, meaning that their big name players aren't in foul trouble. Unlike Brockton, they have a pair of players with two fouls each, or excuse me, four fouls each. Yeah. 
So once again, BR, if you want, you can force the issue a little bit more because yeah, the Lady Boxes have two Wint and, Wint and uh, uh, Santos with four each, and then Fernandez has three. Uh, so they, she got a number of players that are, you know, treading on thin ice here. That also does increase your opportunities to try and go inside the paint a little bit more and maybe even help out your rebound battle. Yeah, we, we saw Ashley Rose trying to penetrate. She's triple teamed. So when she's triple teamed, she's going to look for that. So it's going to be an outlet pass available to her. I know it's easy to say. It's easy easy to see from up here. Lady Trojan just got to come her, come to her uh, uh, side or to her, get an outlet pass her and let her know they're available. This game can quickly turn around, and we keep bringing it up. Brock can turn this thing around in two minutes, cl close a 10-point deficit. If you're BR, you don't need to close 10 points in two minutes, but get a couple threes, try and create a little bit of a run, five, six, so run. Just try and create some positive momentum here. Just penetrate and get a couple more fouls, get somebody fouled out, get it, get you into the bonus really quick. 7.58 to go, down by 10. Williams with the ball, kicks it back to Robinson. Back out to Jackson, top of the key, Robinson. Shots off the mark. Trojans come away with a rebound. It'll tipped by Morrison, collected by Madalunas. Page. Uh, that's it. Gennaris. That'll be her third, I second, I believe. But again, puts Ashley Rose to the line. No time expiring. You're gonna cut to, if you get some free throws here. We'll cut the deficit down. This is what happened in that second quarter. They faced a seven-point deficit, and I think it was seven or eight free throws in a row. You're talking about closing that gap. How about, how about ten in a row? Right. Eight by Page and two by Seavey. She rose as a reversal of fortunes. This misses both. Lady Boxes will bring it up. Williams with the ball, kicks it back to Robinson. Out on the wing to Gennaros. Walbrick with the ball, she's fighting, she's, she's hustling. Hasn't had many balls fall for her, but she's hustling for every rebound. Trojans gain the advantage on the inbounds. Page gets the ball into to Rose, tipped by Fernandez. It'll be a Lady Trojans will inbound under their own basket. Yes. Kind of wishing that ball to drop. Page's five points in the second half cuts it to an eight point advantage. Morrison's fourth, I believe. Travel called on the lady boxes. And see, this is the type of thing that we're talking about as far as the game turning around just like that. Two pointer foul, and now you're talking about a couple of fouls against the Brockton Boxers, and just like that, BR could very easily be back in business. Goes in the in the corner, kicks it back out to Page, cross course, Madalunas. Looks for a pass to Walbrick, over to Page. Off. Another jump ball will be the Boxers' advantage. Six twenty-one. It's an eight-point advantage. See if the Trojans can intercept a pass here. Nice defense by Kelly Page, stopping Gennaros from just running down court. Jackson lets it fly. Morrison collects the rebound. Ashley Rose called for the charge. So Nina Morrison will sit down 
In comes Kylie Piche. Out of bounds, Trojans ball. Just under six minutes left to go. 553, 45, 37. Brockton on top in the fourth quarter. Brockton's a little bit of a stalemate here. They haven't scored in the first four minutes of the half. They collect the rebound. Ashton Lisa Fernandez. Oh, drops in for Gennaros. Back to a 10 point advantage for the Lady Boxers. We're looking at the second half scoring. It's been, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, the second half. I mean, and, and Alexander Gennaro, she's got seven points. Robinson, two. Uh, Santos, two. Three points for Jelena Jackson. You know, just four players involved in the scoring. And on the flip side for the Trojans, we Four only, points. We only we <laughs> only have one, and that's uh, Kelly Page. She has five, a three pointer and a two pointer. So, and you'll definitely see games like this all the time, where a team shoots lights out for the most part in the first half. PR had thirty two points in the first half, five points so far in the first ten minutes and change of the second half. So time is not on their side. Five twenty five. The Trojans down by ten. 37-47-37. Uh, Over the last two or three minutes, you're seeing these two teams at different stages of the game. Brockton trying to close the door on the BR comeback, but the Trojans trying to force points some way, somehow, if that, if, even if that means getting to the free throw line. So Ashley Rose. Ashley Rose will inbounds. Ball tip, Madalunas recovers. Over to Kelly Page. Gets the roll. Kelly Page, the leading scorer of the night for the BR Trojans so far, as that one goes out of bounds. Turnover to Brockton. Nine, um, eight points in the first half and nine point and uh, Seven points in the second half for Kelly Page. Kick ball, reset the shot clock. Not the worst thing in the world either because now this gives BR a chance to set up their one-on-one -on -one opportunities defensively. Ooh. And as I say that three-pointer, that might have just closed the door by Robinson. Robinson's three-pointer, that's a tough one. 50-39, 11 point advantage for Lady Boxers. Madalunas with the ball, back to Page. Walbrecht, shot's a little strong. Jackson will rush the ball up, over to Robinson. Fernandez, off the mark. Kelly Page called for her fourth foul. So the leading scorer for the Trojans is also the leading foul, uh, leading player in foul trouble. Fernandez's money so far. She's one for one. Off the mark, Page with the rebound. Kicks it up, throws it ahead to Madalunas. Page, nine second half points. Cuts it to a 10 point lead. One point, that didn't take a lot of time off the clock on that possession. Gennaris, over to Fernandez. Rims out. And Lisa Fernandez, when a lot of second effort there, comes away with nothing though. It's a tro it's a turnover. Trojans will inbound. 
Madalinas over to Pichet. Corner to Rose. Looks back to Pichet. Gonna drive, she's gonna go on Wint. Bucket is good. Nice aggressive move by Ashley Rose. Her first points of the second half. I think that might have been the first time I've seen BR really drive the baseline to try and get some points. Jade Wint kind of lost her Ojo there and got called, for, got tied up. Looks like she was going in to make a pass and then had second thoughts and by that time had two tro Lady Trojans on her back. So April Zingwell trying to hold on to an eight point advantage, 51-43, 3.27 left to go in this fourth quarter. Hey. BR trying to fight their way back to the 500 mark. Coming in, into tonight at five and seven, meanwhile Brockton six and three. Looking for win number seven. We're talking about this BR basketball program on the boys' side. Boys team approaching the 10 win mark, only have one loss on the season. They've had a couple of very impressive wins. They're gonna have a couple more BR boys basketball games coming up before the end of the season. Also the hockey team getting ready for their chase for the postseason. So the winter sports scene really starting to come together here for the Bridge of Rainham program. And a program that really hasn't seen a lot of postseason success. It really looks like they're starting to turn around here. Just under three and a half minutes left to go. BR trying to fight back in this ball game. Kelly Page with a rebound and driving. BR trying to fight for points. Oh, but a nice shot kicks it out. Three pointer on the way. That one is good for Manalunas. Manalunas breaking the drought here. Deficit is five. 51 46. Wentz ball, Wentz layup attempt off the mark. Janaris is going to let one fly. Madalunas with the rebound. Nice effort by Kelly Page. When you have a sequence like that, getting the ball back on deep, or on offense, I should say, getting a big two pointer. Trojan trying to claw their way back. They're just down by five. Nice steal by Pichet. Oh, but she gives it back to Gennaros. Jump. They go down hard. Pichet call for the foul. Only her second, I believe. But it puts the Trojans over the limit there at eight. So Lady Box is now started out the, the half with foul trouble of gained an advantage. The Lady Trojans have a eight to six advantage in terms of fouls. You don't like that. With two minutes to go. Nice effort by Walbrick. Matt Lunas with the ball cross court to Pichet over to. Page, bucket, good. Looks like BR was saving all their points for the fourth quarter comeback. And yeah, making it, uh, make of it a, an interesting game. Two point advantage for the uh, Lady Boxes, 51 49. I think that's Wentz's fifth, fifth foul, it is. Jade Wentz done for the night. She doesn't know it. <laughs> and Wynn has definitely been a force underneath the basket as far as the rebounding game goes. April Dingwell. Letting the troops know she's not happy. And you go back to that, to about the six minute mark in the fourth quarter. It looks like that there are a lot of three point shots that were made that really shouldn't have been taken by 
Jackson and a couple of other people as well. But those three-point opportunities, those are missed opportunities to try and close the door on the BR Trojans right now. Brockton just let the Trojans back in. In a three-minute period from 525 of the fourth period, Trojans were down by 10, 47-37. They clawed their way back in. It's a 49-51. So Trojans on a 12-2 run. 12-4 run, sorry. At this point, BR can slow the pace down a little bit, try and find their shot. Pichet with the ball over to Madalunas. Rose back to Madalunas, top of the key. Trojans got to break. They got to break that perimeter and get drive to the basket. Luckily, 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 they're tipped off a Brockton player. More importantly, shot clock resets to 30. 147 left to go. Rose's off balance attempts off the mark. Boxes will bring it up. Jackson. Got it by Page. And Elisa Fernandez. He boxes quickly back on defense, leaves the, bo the boards to the Trojans. The Trojans move the ball around. Madalunas now back out to Rose. She's way out of her comfort zone. Jackson, nice move. Oh, nice play by Madalunas. Big block, might have been a game changer. Madalonis might have just been the reason BR gets a chance to tie this game. And Gennaro's picks up her third, team eighth foul. So quickly you just thought the Trojans were in trouble. Lady Boxes are over the limit now, but it's only 51 seconds to go. Kaylee Madalunas with the first shot off the mark. Right now, what Coach Stevie's telling her team right now is basically just a contingency plan. If the shot doesn't fall down, what do you do in the case of the rebound here? Maybe yeah. a chance to set up where you set up in the post. Yeah, think about just calming things down now, letting letting uh, Kaylee Mar uh, Madalunas shoot this shot without any pressure. You know, 51 seconds, you're down by two. There is some pressure. As I said earlier, this girls' basketball program is really starting to come back a little bit from where they were about five or six years ago. Yeah, give them credit. They battled back from five minutes down. They were down by five minutes to go in the fourth period. They were down by 10 points. They're down by two. It's a 12-4 run by the Lady Trojans. Give them credit. So just to reset things here, 51 seconds left to go. Brockton has a two-point lead, 51-49. Both teams in a one-in-one -one situation, eight fouls apiece. And Brockton has three timeouts, so BR only can stop the clock one more time in the fourth quarter. Now, Lady, Lady Boxes have three timeouts, so they get into a jump ball situation. They have a timeout to their advantage, two to, two to their advantage. Madalona is good on the second shot. It's a one-point advantage, 51-50. Loses the handle. Madalunas comes away with it. 39 seconds to go. Oh! Big basket by Wabrak. Haven't Wabrak. seen her in the scoring column for a long time. But right now, that leads the opportunity for a two-for-one situation for BR, potentially. Jackson with the ball. Top of the key. Guided by Page. 18 seconds to go. Gennaro. Off the mark, Tro Walbert comes away with the ball. Gets it to Madalunas. Up court to Page. Back to Walbrick. So she's oh. hammered. You see the Bro you see the Brockton JV team players all with their hands in the head saying, what the heck just happened here? 
Well, BR almost just shot themselves in the foot there, too, because it looked like they were trying to push for another basket, and all they had to do was hold on. That's right. Just maintain possession. Go for a corner. Do something. They had plenty of time. On, they only get 17 seconds or 16 seconds when the, the uh, they, they gained control. So you got the shot clock at your advantage. Just go for a corner. Spread it out. Make them foul you. But now we look at the clock situation one more time. BR has a one-point lead. 4.5 left to go in the fourth quarter. Walbrick's at the line. So regardless, you're still talking about a one-possession game, at a three-point game. So if the second basket does fall, you have a chance to call another timeout, set up a play with four and a half seconds. Certainly a far cry from where we were about five minutes ago. Yeah. A 10-point deficit for BR. Turns into a one-point advantage. Five minutes and 21 seconds. A lot of difference in the game. So Walbrick's at the line. Matt Lunas will stay back along with Pichet in case there's any kind of a breakaway attempt by Brockton. So the Brockton boxes have to inbounds because the ball didn't hit the, hit the rim. I'd pressure the inbounds pass a little bit. I don't know, I'd be having all five players set back here, try and force them to go for the half court. Don't foul her, don't foul her, <laughs> whatever you do. Wow, what a comeback by the Lady Trojans. Down by 10 points with five minutes and 25 seconds to go in the fourth period. They come away with a one-point advantage. What a nail I, I can't. I can't remember a game in a long time where we've seen a complete 180. BR started off on a 12-2 run. Brockton came back. They were up by five. They pushed the lead to 10. BR came back to make it a one-point lead with four and a half seconds left to go. And a good job on defense not forcing that foul. Yeah, absolutely. Just staying back. Letting them, drill, let, let them dribble down the court. They only had four and a half seconds to go. And, uh, hey, credit care. Uh, Cheryl Seavey with a great uh, timeout there when she talked and got them a little, well, there was a timeout called uh, by, by the referees, I guess, on the foul, and she gained a little bit of composure there, and the and Lady Trojans come away with a uh, one-point victory. And quickly, a big part of that comeback was Kelly Page. She had a big part in that first half with all those free throws, but really kicked up a gear in the second half with a couple of big threes. I have her with 12, un unofficially 12 points in the second half. That, that was really the difference in the game for the Trojans. So BR improves their record to 6-7. and seven. Brockton falls to 6-4. and four. Both teams still have 2-0 and o conference records, but it's a 52-51 Big come from behind win for the BR Trojans for Skip Crossman and Jeff and Dick Fowl behind the scenes. I'm John Luck. Thanks for watching.